Hey guys, welcome to RT Studio. I'm Kara. And I'm Kaysen. Hey Kaysen, what are we going to paint today? We are going to paint a flower. We are. We are going to paint flowers today because we're doing our Valentine's Day series, right Kaysen? Yeah. So what did we do before? We did a, a flower bouquet by Van Gogh. And last week we did our hearts by um, Mondrian. And so... This week we are doing Georgia and O'Keeffe inspired roses. And so these we are doing with watercolor. And we are going to show you guys step by step how to draw this and paint it. And we also have a printable for your younger guys and uh, gals. And um, if you want to use the printable to help you trace or whatever you need to use it for, you can do that. Um, but we do show you how to draw it step by step if you're up for the challenge. And then we show you how to paint it. So are you guys ready to get artsy? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need today to make our beautiful rose here is you're going to need some paper and if you have bristol paper or watercolor paper that's better but this one was done on just regular paper so it just turns out a little nicer if you have a nicer quality paper like this one um you need a pencil i'm going to show you on a sharpie so if you want to outline it a sharpie as well and some paint brushes and watercolors and some water and so that is all you're going to need to get started doing this project let's get started okay guys so I'm going to show you how to draw this flower first and if you want to skip over that step and you feel more comfortable with using my flower here I'm going to have this available for you to print straight off so all you have to do is the painting part. But for those that want the challenge, I'm going to show you how to draw this flower. And it's pretty simple. So you might want to just try it out and see how it goes. And then if you don't feel comfortable, you can print it off. And so I actually have a little paper here. I'm going to show you kind of the techniques that we're doing before I put it on our paper. But And I'm going to use a Sharpie, but I would suggest using a pencil so you can erase. Uh, but I'm going to use a Sharpie so you guys can see it better here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an E in the very, very center of my paper here. So a curvy E. I'm going to curve and then I'm going to make an E, but I'm going to keep going around in kind of a swirl. So I just took the tail of my E and wrapped it around. And the next thing I am going to do is I am going to put C's kind of all around my E in this flower petal shape. So I'm going to make a big C and we're just going to overlap those just like I did here. So I'm going to put a C here and then if you want to turn your paper it sometimes helps and then I'm going to put a C here depending on which way you're turning it and a C here and then another one And I'm going to go ahead and take some of my lines and just have them come out a little further. Okay. Then the next step is I'm going to make our pointy petal. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up and curve like you're making a C, but you're going to come up to the top, make a point come back down and curve around. So I'm going to have those go on the outside of this. And 
and I'm going to layer on top of this one. And I'm just going to keep going. Around. And some of the petals are small and some of them are big, and that's fine. And some of them just kind of hide behind the other ones. And then I'm going to do a few on the next layer. So I'm just going to make a pointy flower here. And a pointy flower here. And that is how we draw our rows. Okay guys, so now that we are done with drawing our rows, we're going to move on to using our watercolors. And I'm going to grab a flat paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it in my water. And then I'm going to get a lot of paint here. So I'm using this dark rose color and you guys might want to use a different color and that's fine but that's the color I'm going to do my rose just like this one and I'm gonna start by taking my paintbrush and with this deep bright color so very little water more paint I'm going to outline my rose a little more water. We really want this a dark, pretty color. And we want to outline our color in this center part of the E that we did earlier and then just trace the line around. Okay, so now your outline is all done. You're going to go and rinse out your brush and you're going to grab a lighter color. So I'm going to go with this brighter pink over here and I'm just going to add a lot of water and get a light pink. And so I want to just take and go inside my first outline. So we're just going to paint softly inside. We're going to leave this white. So that makes a nice highlight. Just gonna take our paintbrush and swoop, swoop. This goes by pretty quick. Like I said, yours doesn't have to be pink. If you don't like pink, you could do a yellow rose or an orange rose. You just have to pick a lighter color and a darker color. So if you were gonna do purple, you could do a dark purple or this, this rose color and then a lighter purple. And if you're gonna do yellow, you could maybe do an orangey color with a yellow. Okay, so now you've done your dark outline and you've colored in with the pink and you have this beautiful flower now. 
So you can see where the white really pops and it looks like the lighter parts of the flowers and we have the dark outlines and the artist that inspired this painting, Georgia O'Keeffe, she used to use a lot of shadows and highlights and that's how we make a really pretty rose. Okay, so next we are going to rinse out our paintbrush and we're going to do a background. So I'm going to do the same I did with this, which is a nice blue background and I'm going to get a bunch of water and really get a really pretty blue color and I'm just going to go around the outline of my flower and I'm just going to crisscross my brush like this and I'll show you up close. We're just going to do crisscrosses crisscrosses until we fill the whole background but make sure when you're going around your curves you're just kind of curving around your outline. We're going to curve and then crisscross, 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 curve, crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just add a darker color. So I'm going to add a little bit of black and I'm just going to, and then a little bit of the color that I was using before. So the dark blue. And I'm just going to go around the edges. So that was enough black. To get a darker color. And I'm just going to go around the edges to make this smoky, dramatic look. Okay, so now you are all done and all you have to do is sign it. Hey guys, thanks for getting artsy with us today. We, we hope you enjoyed this project. So we are going to show you our art. Kaysen, go ahead and show them your art. Okay. Voila! So Kaysen did something different. He did a orange and yellow flower, and he did a red background. And you see how awesome that looks? It's awesome. So if you guys want to change the colors and you want to make it your own, go ahead and do so. Me and, So I did what the original flower was. So I did the pink, pinky ready rose with a blue background. And so those are the finished projects. So we hope you guys had a great time and we would like to see your art, um, see what you guys come up with. We got some awesome art this week and we really enjoyed seeing that. So if you guys want to share your art with us, you can send it to our website at www.artsystudio.com or you can share it with us um, on Instagram at artsystudio. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and what do they do, Kaysen? Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. If you like these videos, subscribe to us, please. Okay. We get, well, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.